Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be with you, my dear brothers and sisters. This is your brother, Omar Sulaiman. You know, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, suffered all kinds of hurt and all kinds of, of tribulation in his life. And in fact, from every aspect, you know, when it comes to emotionally, his father, uh, you know, passed away before he was even born, his mother when he was only six years old, and then his grandfather only a few years after that, three years after that. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, you know, uh, lived the life of an orphan. He had, you know, he had a very rough life in terms of making his financial income. You know, he had a rough life even as a messenger. In fact, peace be upon him, his, his troubles and his tribulations and the trials that he faced were only increased when he received revelation. And then he was humiliated, he was tortured. The only thing that he had, which was his name, was also dragged through the mud. And instead of being a Sadiq al Amin, the most honest and the most tr tr uh, trustworthy, you know, he was being called names like sorcerer and liar and, and poets and all kinds of nasty names were being hurled at him. You know, he's, he's placed under economic boycott and he loses his uncle Abu Talib who is his source of physical protection. He loses Khadija radiallahu anha, may Allah be pleased with her. His wife, who was the woman that he first went to when he, had, when, when, when he was first having those experiences with the revelation, she was always his source of comfort. And he thought that, you know, maybe at least this would open up for the da'wah, for, for his call. And then he went to Ta'if and he received uh, the, the worst, you know, experience of his life. And he used to tell Aisha that that was indeed the worst day of his life. And in that context, Allah calls the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, up through the heavens to give him a special gift. And that was the gift of salah, the gift of prayer. And just as he called Musa, Moses, peace be upon him, and he called him to the valley and he spoke directly to Moses, to Musa alayhi salam. And he gave Musa that gift of speaking directly to him and of enjoying the conversation with God. Likewise, Allah called the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, up and he gave him that beautiful command of prayer as a gift. And in essence, the reason why he gave it to him in this context was he allowed him to experience all of the bitterness of this world so that he could fully appreciate the sweetness of the prayer. And so the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, receives that command of 50 prayers. And likewise, you know, as this was the only command that was given, you know, uh, in the heavens and not on the earth, likewise, as the great scholar Imam Hassan al-Basri said, radiallahu anhu, that as salatu mi'raj al-mu'min, that prayer is actually the ascension of the believer. Meaning if you want to ascend through the heavens the way the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did, then you ascend through that prayer. You, you speak directly to the one uh, to, to the one who spoke to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and we, we enjoyed those conversations with him. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, actually met Moses, peace be upon him, and as he met many other prophets um, you know, on that journey. And when Moses, peace be upon him, heard that the Prophet وسلم, was given 50 prayers, he told him, look, I've been through this before, we have similar nations. Your people will not be able to handle this. Go back to Allah, go back to God and tell him to lighten it. And so it was lightened first to 25 and then to 10 and then finally to 5. And Moses told the Prophet, peace be upon him, you know, go back up and ask God for a further reduction. They won't be able to handle it. And the Prophet felt shy, peace be upon him, from Allah. And then it was said, that the, it was said to the Prophet, peace be upon him, that the Ummah, that the nation of Muhammad, peace be upon him, would still get the reward of 50 prayers just through those five prayers. And in essence, I want you to think about this for a moment. The reason why the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, جُعِلَ قُرَّةُ عَيْنِ فِي الصلاة, that, the, that the coolness of my eyes was placed in my prayer is because God gave it to him as a gift, as an escape from this world so that he could taste the sweetness of that relationship with God. And so whenever anything happened, whenever anything troubled him, he would always run back to the prayer and he'd always find his comfort. أَرِحْنَا بِهَا يَا بِلَالِ Comfort us with it, O Bilal. And we find that God, Allah, actually breaks us away from the dunya at least five times a day from this world so that we can also put things in perspective and understand that true happiness and contentment lies in conversing with the Most High and in speaking with Allah and turning back to the Creator and ascending through the heavens and, and having that connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And on a, you know, on a final note, I just want you to think about this. The scholar said very beautifully that God prescribed in five prayers the reward of 50 
and the original command was 50. And can you imagine if our lives were spent every single day we had to pray 50 prayers? And that is in essence to tell us that the intent of our life, the reason why we were created, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسِ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ we were created to worship. We ask God to make us amongst His pious worshippers and those who connect to Him through prayer in, the, in following the example of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Jazakallah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.